Well, when I came to Clarkson, I was originally intending to graduate, take on an industrial job, and then after some time working as an engineer in industry, return for my MBA and maybe move up as a manager and become a mid-level manager as a career. That was the scope, the horizon of my thinking. Uh, Clarkson was very good at showing me that there are countless paths that are available, especially to chemical engineers. It's a very versatile degree. Clarkson has a very strong industrial focus. And although they're pushing the edges of the research, they're also ensuring that, well, is what we're doing actually going to be applied? Um, and does it have a purpose? And I think that, you know, scale from being able to look at, here's a fundamental point of knowledge and be able to keep in mind the bigger perspective of what do we want to do with this point of knowledge and be able to expand it to make a difference in the world, I think is something that is not as common in chemical engineering institutions uh, and certainly a big positive part of Clarkson. After my freshman year, after my time at the Clarkson School, I began a research project with Professor Ross Taylor in the chemical engineering department where we were actually modeling physical properties which were used in the design of distillation equipment. There's a lot of design criteria and physical properties that you need to understand on oftentimes novel chemical mixtures in order to design appropriate equipment for that. And coming right out of my freshman year at Clarkson, I was able to have a role modeling a lot of these, you know, fancy physical properties and developing new models for being able to more accurately predict what a chemical mixture, or rather how a chemical mixture would behave. So I have those basic research skills and I'm recognized for those research skills and I also have the Clarkson focus on the applied and industrial side of things. I took on an internship uh, through the DOE at Brookhaven National Lab where I studied nuclear chemistry for a summer. That's something that you don't expect to see from someone with a chemical engineering education, but the degree in the education is so versatile that I fit right in with the chemists and the geologists and all the other people who are also at this internship, which was, I think, really, really cool. Upon graduation, I have a number of options. I have a number of companies which have cold called me, sent me emails, asked, hey, can you just send in your resume and transcripts real quick, and have offered me interviews right away. And these are big name companies. I'm at the same time in this interesting role where I'm interested in actually pursuing a Fulbright Fellowship through the US State Department, going and traveling around the world. And it's really cool, I think, to have that ability to be able to say, um, you know, I have job offers, this is pretty sweet. Um, but I'm actually not even going to take them right now because I have another thing that I really want to do instead and I can do that. And I've got the, the background and the education that affords me that ability 